Hello the internet! It is Friday the 19th of January 2018. I am taking Felicia on a beautiful walk. The walk is to Whiting Beach, which is in Budori, Budori, the national park that's part of the ACT. We're in Jarvis Bay, but we're actually in part of the ACT. It's a strange way it works. It's a long walk we're doing, but we're going to a beautiful beach. And when we get there, I'm gonna show you a few things on the Armio Power Breather. I've got the beach edition here to show show Felicia. You saw her snorkeling with the Sea Beast Pro N1. Today we're going to have her testing out the Armio Power Breather from a person who doesn't use the ocean because she's in Germany. They don't have an ocean. Well, they have a Baltic Sea at the very top there. It's a very small coastline. How are you today, Felicia? Good. You enjoying being in the Australian bush like this? Yeah. And the warm weather. And the warm weather, yeah. So this place I'm taking Felicia, Whiting Beach, isn't even listed on that map there, which is kind of a good thing. Less people might be there because they don't know it's there. The fact you've got to pay to come in here as well, that can detract a lot of people. Mind you, we are in the most busy time of the year, the Christmas holiday season, if you like, the New Year's season. Every camping ground was listed as full, but this particular beach, we may get kind of less people. <laughs> <laughs> Mom. Oh man, that's Whiting Beach and there's seaweed. A lot of seaweed. Damn, this is completely ruining my plan. That's tidal movements, ocean currents, and geography for you. This beach is usually pristine and white, and that blue water comes right up to this gorgeously white sandy beach. Right now there is more seaweed here than I've seen ever. It's all just sitting there in a lump of smelly, dirty crap. And we're gonna be snorkeling with the Amio Power Breather right there. I'm sorry about this. I can't control the weather. I'm sorry about the seaweed. It is what it is. <laughs> yeah, it's all this. It is what it is. We may not have the greatest beach to do this. I'm particularly keen to see how Felicia goes with this. Now I'm going to show Felicia how this thing works. Felicia, can you just hold that for me? So I did show you guys this in Tonga a few months back, but I showed you something incorrect. When I was fitting the air vent, I was fitting them incorrectly. I was putting one like this. When you need to marry the text, so see the text here? It just means that one goes on there like this and this one. Same thing has text on the outside, text on the outside goes in there. In Tonga, if you look back at that video, I did them this way by accident. Upside down, that's wrong. So you want them to go this way. When you fit this to your mouth, you need to adjust this size here. Easiest way to do that is to look into the manual. There's pictures, there's diagrams, it explains it very clearly. You loosen this. You choose a sizing that fits your size of your head. In this instance, second from the end for a big fat head, pull it over your head. You slide it on, you lift it to your mouth. And then you tighten it up. Now, there is going to be a key difference here to snorkeling. When you snorkel, you've got to snorkel in your mouth. And if you get up out of the water, hey, look, I can see a fish. You want to tell your friends, what do you do? The first thing you do is rip the snorkel out of your mouth. The difference with this is when it's in your mouth and it's tied to the top of your head with the little latch, all you do is go like this. Oh, I see a fish. And it falls straight down onto your, onto your neck here. When you want to keep swimming, you lift it up. Now I will demonstrate that in the water, but I also want Felicia to show you how she uses this as a first time user. This is Felicia here. Hello Felicia. Hello. How are you? Good. I'm sorry about all this seaweed. This was not something I had planned. I think if we step a little bit out, you can see the weed just comes to the beach. If we step out about to there somewhere. Let's go on out. I'll get Felicia to try this and I'll show you a few little techniques that are going to help you to use this the best you possibly can. This is the Armio Power Breather Beach Edition. Comes shipped with a Cressy snorkel mask. I'm gonna stress again and again and again, Felicia is from Germany. It's not like many Germans go snorkeling, so this is a perfect opportunity. First of all, take the Power Breather, put that over your neck. Now, this mask has already been fitted to suit Felicia's head, so Felicia, if you pop that on. So what I want to explain while she's here, right here now, is if you want to kneel down so we're in the water. The Armio Fresh Air system is 
a way that encourages deep breathing. So if you're in the water and snorkeling and you're not deep breathing, you're doing it wrong. So what you need to do as an inexperienced snorkeler is spend at least four minutes in the water, not swimming, just breathing in and breathing out. Because if you don't do the deep breathe, you don't open the valve the full way, you don't get the full ventilation system working. Do you feel good like this? Do you feel like you could put your head in the water and do some breathing, not swimming, just stay right here and do four minutes worth of just... If you feel comfortable, put your thumb up. That's a thumb up. Felicia hasn't had a great deal of snorkeling experience. As I said earlier, she's finding the best thing for her to do is to sit out of the water, breathing in, breathing out, just getting used to the way this fresh air vent system works. I think she's doing well. She's just relaxing. There's no rush when you're snorkeling. That's the worst thing you can do. If you jump in and rush, you can possibly injure yourself. Felicia, if everything's okay, show me the thumbs up. Yeah, she's all right. She's just totally taking her own time. There's no rush for this kind of thing, especially when you're dealing with the open ocean where danger exists at every turn. I feel ready to start swimming with this mask. Felicia's been doing the in and out breathing. She didn't quite make the four minute mark. I'll show you the four minute thing in a minute, but she's keen to start snorkeling right now. You feel good? Yeah. Let's get in the water then, go for gold. <laughs> Okay, so you saw Felicia trying the Amio Power Breather for the first time, and I think that illustrates a great example of how snorkeling isn't for everybody, but this product can certainly help you. I'm gonna just show you again what we did there with Felicia, even though all of these details are in the manual, and if you are looking to fit one of these yourself, definitely check the manual. There's descriptions, there's diagrams. First thing you gotta do is change this to a big fat head like mine. This is a big noggin. See the size of this? She's got a small head. We had it set to the small setting. I'm changing it to a fat size head right now then I loosen this all the way to the top and then it's very simple place it over your head when you're ready to go you tilt this to your mouth and that's it however the Beach Edition ships with the Cressy snorkel mask now this is the exact mask that Felicia wore so it's probably gonna be too tight for my fat noggin I will loosen it a little bit all right that feels pretty good so once you got the Cressy goggle on same process lift it to your mouth And you're good to go! Wait a second! I forgot to demonstrate to you the technique for deep breathing. Now this is why the power breather from Amio is a beautiful learning tool. Deep breathing, this is what divers do. This is what deep sea divers, this is what free divers, the guys that go down those long chains like 70 meters with one breath. This is what these guys do. Distance swimmers do the same thing. It's called deep breathing. The fresh air system here on the power breather, it only works if you deep breathe. If you shallow breathe, this thing doesn't work. You're using 25% of the actual capacity. So you have to deep breathe. That's what Felicia possibly struggled with. She hasn't been in the water, she's German. They don't spend their life in the water like we do here in Australia. We, we're blessed, we, we love, we're born here. So we know how to do this. I'm gonna demonstrate to you, four minutes is the recommended amount of time to deep breathe. Don't swim, just put the mask on, pop your noggin in the ocean and deep breathe for four minutes until you feel really comfortable breathing. And I'm gonna show you that right now. So the mask goes on. And down four minutes. And that's four minutes. <laughs> that's four minutes of deep breathing. And how do I know that's four minutes? Because that's the same length of my daily vlogs. And I kind of felt like I was doing a daily vlog right there under the water. That's what you gotta do. Four minutes of deep breathing. You breathe in. And you breathe out. That's how you use this thing. And once you're comfortable with that, you're ready to swim and snorkel with the Amio Power Breather Beach Edition.
when you want to talk to your mate, maybe you're snorkeling with three or four guys and you see a fish or a shark, heaven forbid, you come up to the top of the water and in a regular scenario, you rip that snorkel out and you just go, shark, shark, or fish, fish, whatever it is. With this guy, it's slightly different and it's only a little different because of the mechanism. Let's go in the scenario. Shark! Shark! All right, there's no shark, but I'm demonstrating quickly. You loosen the top, pull it out, and let it fall down onto your chest. That's how you do it. It's slightly different. Don't rip it out of your mouth. Don't just go. You might ruin the mechanism. Undo the at the top, pull it out from under your big fat head, and let it drop. And then, if there is a shark, get the hell out of the water. Now, you've seen me tell you about the Amio Power Breed, the Beach Edition. You've seen Felicia tell you about it. Right here is a complete stranger. How you going, man? Hello, my name's Dylan. Hey, Dylan, I'm Ben on. We've never met, have we? No, we haven't. He happens to be here with his partner, enjoying this beautiful beach just like we are. He's seen me doing the video. He wants to try the product. I'm happy to let that happen. So the first thing we need to do is adjust this to, to suit your head size. Okay. The best way to do it is just to, the best way to do this is to check the manual. There's plenty of pictures and diagrams. I've told you that already three times. See these little little latches here? Yeah. You lift them out okay. and slide it up and down until you, until you kind of find the size of your head. Before I've even explained it, Dylan's already got it because he did watch me doing the little demo across there on the shore. <laughs> First thing is loosen that again. Let it go down to your, yeah, pull it apart. That's it. So he's got that bit dialed. Goggles go on. Then the Amio power breather goes up into his mouth and and you're good to go. We're gonna do a four minute deep breathing exercise. We won't do the whole four minutes because you've seen that already, but I'm gonna explain to Dylan how it works just so he feels comfortable and confident. And up over your ears, that's it, perfect. So now before we go snorkeling, we'll just put our head in the water and just breathe in and out deeply, not shallow, deep in the water, uh, deep with the breath. Yep. Now I could let Dylan do this for the entire four minutes. I don't think I need to, I think he's skilled enough. He's obviously been around oceans and water enough of his life to know what, what to do. You're good, man. Good I was just saying, I think, I think you're good to go, huh? <laughs> Yeah, no, it feels awesome. When you start off, it's a bit weird. Yeah, like you said, you've got to really deep breathe. It's a little bit different to a, a, a normal conventional snorkel. If you do shallow breaths, you, you're not going to last. Right. So you've got to do that that deep breathing, really yep. breathe in and out. But yeah, no, it's awesome. Yeah, really good. How about this spot, by the way? I know, yeah, yeah. Whiting, white, white, Whiting, Whiting Beach. Beach yeah. yeah. Come here and do your snorkeling. It's awesome. Absolutely. Aside yeah. from the seaweed, Yes, that's yeah. a bit of a letdown. But we can't control that. We can't control the weather. What we can control is our breathing. That was a beautiful segue. <laughs> Dylan, you're free to go, man. Go for gold. Wag awesome. it on and enjoy. While Dylan explores the rocky areas here at Whiting Beach, this is the best thing about this product. You can equalize with it, you can snorkel down, you can use any goggles you want. If you want to purchase, please use the link in the description of this video. I do get a kickback there. I've got an affiliate link. That would help me. How'd you go, Dylan? Yeah, awesome. Yeah, that <laughs> no, was good. Yeah, nice to hear, man. Like you, obviously, you feel comfortable in the ocean. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, it's it's basically second home. Yep. So, well, yeah, so yeah, it's it's very easy. Man, I've got a little a uh, little surprise for you. I've actually got a second set over there, um, minus the goggles. But I've got a second power breather I want to give to you. Oh really? Just, yeah, oh, just what? Amio gave them to me, and I technically don't need two of them, so I've got the spare. I'll I'll, I'll give you one, and you can then use it again and again and oh, again. Thanks, mate. That's yeah, awesome. Man. Yeah. And thank, thank you for you. helping out, man. Yeah. I'm gonna give you this one here. Unfortunately, this was this isn't a beach edition, so it hasn't got the goggles in it. But the best thing about the Amio is that you can use any goggles you want. Yeah. You probably got some snorkel goggles at home, yeah. so whack those together, and you're good to go. Good to go. Cool. Thanks. Awesome. You're welcome, man. Yeah. I feel like Dylan really enjoyed using the beach edition with me over there and I figured you know what he can have the other one get it into the hands of people he said his dad's a keen snorkeler I'm sure they're both gonna get a good usage out of it one of the best things about snorkeling is you get to go into the water and see the underwater marine life now we've been sitting on the beach there just having a drink and I looked out and I saw a whole bunch of things moving on top of the water it looked kind of like a school of something they're just up a ways in front of me let's go and have a sneaky peek 
Oh, that's um. We're out of time! Dolphins! Oh, oh that's um. I ran out of time again on my vlog. If you like what you've seen on my channel, please hit the subscribe button. If you want to support me even further, become a Patreon. And also check out my previous vlog and a random vlog. Don't forget my Lightroom presets, my merch store, and all the other good things that I've got for you in the description of this video. Has that been 20 seconds? Yes, it has!